first vlog of 2023, I thought I was literally just about to make breakfast to start the day. I thought I'd just make breakfast with you guys while we catch up about life and the new year and all that sort of stuff. I must say, I feel like, what is it say, the 10th of January. I don't know about anyone else, but because of the bank holiday that we had at the beginning of the year, I was like waiting for the Monday the 9th for like the year to properly start. So I feel like this week is the first proper week of 2023. But um, I did mention in my essentials video that I put up, I was so ill at the end of the year. I got like taken down by that flu that was going around and literally just did nothing. I sat on the sofa with Joe, and it was actually kind of nice though because when we woke up in January, I was like, although I felt ill, I didn't feel hungover and that's a rarity, but I'm still like bunged up. I'm just full of snot still, which is just really annoying me. So I sound a little bit like this. My breakfast has literally stayed exactly the same since summer. I got obsessed with having Greek yogurt, blueberries and almond butter. And it's just the best breakfast. It's so quick and easy. Um, and it, like, I just honestly am obsessed with it. I think one of the reasons I'm so obsessed with it though is this almond butter that I get from Dalesford. I mean, probably the bougiest thing I buy because it's so unnecessary and it's so expensive for almond butter. But I just haven't found one that tastes as good as this. And now I've kind of screwed myself over because I only want that one now. So I'm my own worst enemy really when it comes to that. Um, but yeah, so if you're looking for a quick breakfast that's like super healthy, I highly recommend. And then of course, I'm gonna have one of my collagen sachets, which I'm still very much obsessed with, um, inside the My Protein Clear Way. This is literally my breakfast every single morning, but I know some of you mentioned that you didn't like the taste of collagen or you tried it, but when you have it on its own or we put it in water, it tastes yucky. This one, because it's, I think this one is actually tropical flavoured, this Revive Enhanced Plus. And then this My Protein flavour, the mango and coconut one, is so nice. Um, so together, you literally can't taste this. It doesn't taste of anything other than the protein. So if you want to take these, and also you want to have like protein in the morning, um, which is just good to do, together, really good pairing. Um, so yeah, so that's basically my breakfast. I'm gonna make that now. I was in the office all of yesterday doing a design meeting, first one of the year, which was really exciting for SLA. Um, we had a lot of stuff to sort out. Things are crazy at the moment, um, which I will just take this moment to say, I massively apologize to anyone who's experienced delays with SLA over the Christmas period. I mean, I feel so sorry for any online, just anyone who's dealing with like the strikes and the delivery delays that have impacted their businesses because the the like sh complete shutdown of like the delivery system over the Christmas period was wild. I mean, you guys, I won't bore you with like all the behind the scenes, but the repercussions that it has caused is crazy. So like it's completely out of our hands, all these delays and like orders that have gone missing and it's just literally, we've got like updates of them just sitting in depots and not moving because they're just full of parcels. Um, but I just wanted to say like we are across all of it investigating everything. We're not ever just like, not replying or ignoring anything or trying, you know, we are literally doing our very best, but there's only three people in the office. That's myself, Susie and Neve. We are like the main customer service people who are dealing with these. So there's only three people and we're trying our best. But I just wanted to add that in here because I know how frustrating it is when orders don't arrive, especially if you've never ordered from a company before and you know it's a small business you might not have heard of them I get it and I get the frustration but yeah it's just hopefully we'll all start to sort itself out it's just these strike actions have just been crazy um so yeah anyways breakfast and then my day to day so I'm going to do a lot of just emails and working from home but later on I'm going to see Natalie Kelly who um obviously does all my like Botox and fillers and what, all that sort of stuff. But I'm actually going into her clinic for a facial because the facials that they do are just the best. So I'm gonna go see Sophie, who's one of the lead um, skincare girls there. And I just feel like I am on a mission this year with my skin to, I really wanna even out my complexion basically. Like I feel like my skin has drastically 
transformed since using skin and me and i still use that every single day it's unbelievable but i just want to like even out the tone and like the i've got a bit of like pigmentation and redness and all this sort of stuff so i'm gonna try and like this year see what i can do to help that so i'm gonna go along and talk to sophie about this and see what she recommends um so of course i will vlog it with you guys um yeah, so that's my day to day. Nothing overly exciting, but I am excited to go and see Natalie. And then I think I'm gonna get a little Botox top up because it's been a while. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Here's the breakfast of dreams. This is what it looks like. Unbelievable stuff and of course the shake. I honestly get excited every morning for my breakfast. That's how much I enjoy this. Would you two like to tell YouTube what you've been doing for all of yesterday and this morning? Do you wanna explain yourself, Twigs, or should Nelly say? Hey, they honestly have gone into destructive mode. I mean, they love ripping the inside of toys out anyway, but I came home yesterday to their bed just everywhere and they continue to keep doing it. So I don't really know what we're gonna do. Do you guys know? Stop looking at each other. It's neither, it's both of your fault. You're both as guilty as one another. I'm not sure if you can hear these two, but they are just snoring away next to me here. It's a hard life, isn't it? being a sausage dog. Just, I mean, Twiglet looks so comfortable. What are you doing, Twigs? What's happening? Are you being productive today? It's definitely been a crazy past week in this household because Joe, <laughs> Joe's been in LA from like the 3rd of January. He's out there working in the um, LA office that they've got. So whenever I, <laughs> I'm just at home with the dogs, it's honestly like a madhouse because trying to work while also having these two is just impossible. I don't know how people with children do it. When it finally comes time to having kids, like, I swear to God, having dogs is actually a really good way to like ease yourself in because I just think it opens your eyes up to having to look look out for like something else other than just yourself. Um, so yeah, but like whenever, <laughs> whenever things get stressful with the dogs, I always think, God, like, Honestly, shout out to people dealing with children. I don't know how you do it. I'm sure when it comes my time, I'll learn how to do with it, but I mean, you guys are bad enough, aren't you? Just make the place a complete mess the whole time, which is the main issue. Yes. Oh, big stretch. So my skin is looking, oh my God, honestly, I can't even begin to tell you how clean it feels. The hydrofacials that I get here are the best ones ever. Sophie just does the best job and like, tailors them to exactly what you need the day you come in so like today I've had one but basically my skin just needed hydration so I had a hydration booster and she like really got in and got all like the crap out of my pores with extractions and I just feel like my skin can breathe now which is so nice um, and then we were talking about this other treatment for my like redness around my nose like here um, and some other little pigment stuff but I'll explain that to you when I get up and I'm not lying here looking really fantastic I'll probably explain when I get home but it sounds like the dream treatment closer so we got all the dirt and oh look at that that was a really good shot I feel like this is the most satisfying part of a hydrofacial because you can just see it it's so good I swear skin after a hydrofacial literally like feels like glass my skin just feels so as I said, like you, you feel like everything's sucked out of it that your skin can actually breathe again. That's what it feels like. Um, so I had my Botox. I've got like, <laughs> I had my like brow lift Botox, which I love getting, but it's left me with like a bruise. <laughs> so it looks like my brow has like gone really long today and down here, but it's fine. It'll go. Um, so I know I mentioned that I was talking to Sophie about what sort of facials I should have. So basically, in like a couple of weeks time, I'm gonna go back in to have a BB, I forgot it I've written down here, a BBL, it sounds really fun, I'm gonna go get a BBL. Um, I think it's called Broadband Light, it's like a laser, and a Moxie facial situation, which I think is also a laser, I don't really know. I'm not, I'll know more when I get them done. But um, apparently like Kim Kardashian swears by them. She had like, I think it's, has she had one like recently and basically it just like completely like you get like a whole new skin 
Um, so it's got like about a week downtime. So you've got like all these different things that happen. But of course, when I actually get it done, I'll like vlog it and share it with you guys. Um, but I'm really excited because apparently it's got like a really good, the laser part of it especially, is so good at getting rid of any like redness. Um, and it'll also get rid of like any like scarring, just any like thing on your skin that shouldn't be there. Um, and it will leave you with basically just like a complete, it's, apparently it's supposed to look like your skin is just like filtered. Um, so I'm hoping this is what I need. I'm really excited about it, basically. I'm like, I love I love anything to do with skincare and facials. Gets me so excited. Especially, like, these sort of more medical-grade ones where they're, like, lasers or... Facials that basically actually do something, you know? Although I'm not even sure you can classify this as a facial. It's probably more of, like, an actual skin treatment. So, yeah, so if you want to have a little Google about what I'm going to get done, it's called Moxie and a BBL. <laughs> Which sounds so weird saying that. Promise I'm not getting a butt lift, guys. Um... So yeah, anyways, that's what happened in the next couple of weeks. So I'll share that with you when I'm getting that done. So today I'm just going to the office um, and it's exciting because we're kind of like, I'm having a bit of a change around in the office. I basically have these moments at the beginning of the year where I just have like a mad, like I want to change everything up. So I've like kind of redone the office a little bit um, and I can show you guys what we're doing in there. The jacket that I've got on today is really cute though. It's a men's like, Tommy jeans one. I'm hoping you can see. I can't actually see what I'm filming from here. It's like super, super oversized. I mean, I got the big, I think I got like an extra large in it. So it's like really big, but it's just a great chuck on outfit. And then obviously underneath, I mean, no shock to anyone. If you've seen my essentials video, it's leggings and a long sleeve black top. Um, but yeah, anyway, I did say I live in it. I wasn't lying when I said that this is literally my vibe. I'm just like, I'll wear black and then just chuck on some like oversized jacket and that's me every single day in the office. Today's a really exciting day in the office. Susie and Eve are just gonna be blown away by my Amazon snack choices. I mean, we all know that I love a snack. The hippies, which I'm gonna want to tell you about, yeah. Those ones, we've got old pretzel fins, also mm. unbelievable. These were really exciting. These are like those marshmallow crispy treat things, but 99 calories. That's really good. I also am obsessed with them. And I think I got them in. Oh, and then these are those peas I was telling you about. Oh, yum. They're like chocolate, um, salted caramel roasted peas. Oh, no, these are nice. Honestly, these are a game changer. <laughs> I know, we're trying to get healthy snacks in the Hell. office to like, you know, January help health vibes, but. It's really exciting. Is this not the most satisfying thing you guys have ever seen? I'm very proud of this. I was just laughing with the girls though, saying, I have so much to do today, and this is what I've decided to spend my morning doing. Because, you know, so, so needed, really, wasn't it? Such a procrastinator, but I'm very happy with my efforts. Just realized before I leave, I need to show you guys the new chairs. So these are the new chairs that I've got in the office, which I actually prefer so much more. Um, so they, I just think the black just works a bit better in here. So that's new. And then we've completely taken all of this off here. I've got a new cabinet thing to go here, which is actually like a white color. Um, and then we've moved the cream sofa that was down the other end to here, which I actually think looks so cute. Um, finished off the Polaroid wall. We've got a bit of space up there, which we'll probably fill in at some point, but I love the cream sofa here. I think it looks really nice. And then put that mirror here. So we've got a nice little section there. Um, this is all going, it's all changing. I'm gonna get like a custom makeup table and like a custom Hollywood mirror for like the whole of this wall, which I'm really excited about. So yeah, that's kind of the plan. Little bits and bobs are gonna change in here as well, but the main things was like the chairs, which we used to have clear plastic ones. I don't know if you guys remember, but these ones look a lot better. And I just love the vibe in here. I never wanna go home. I always just never wanna leave this space because it just feels so creative and I love being in here. These were the chairs that we did have, if you guys remember. So they're the ones that we've changed up. Also moved the pink lockers to here, which I actually really like. It's like a little snack station now um and i just realized we had some more snacks that arrived as well so now it's like a shop this is literally like our shoot snacks and things like that for when we've got people in and i like the fact that it also looks like a shop so i've got to keep them replenished now so that it looks as cute as this the whole time um and then down this end i mean we're having a clear out so it looks a little bit of a disaster down here but you know, it's fine. Um, we've moved the pink sofa to down here for the time being. I actually quite like it. I think it looks really nice. So I think the pink kind of works down this end. And yeah, you might sort of be seeing some new colors of sweats over there. 
launching end of January, black and pink. The pink actually looks really, really pink on here, but it's not um, that pink in real life. It's more like a fuchsia pink. I don't know why it's looking like so pink. Um, I mean, it is really pink, but I don't know. It's very nice. And then black as well. So that's just a few of the office updates. As you can see, it's a little bit different. I'm excited. We're just trying to make it a bit more of like a creative space and add a few more of that sort of stuff in it. So I'm done for the day. I'm going to pack up my stuff um, and head home because Joe's actually back from LA now, which is very exciting. Um, I haven't seen him in like a week. So I'm going to go home to him and the doggies and get some dinner because I'm hungry. It's Thursday, we're in the office, and yes, I've ordered a new piece of furniture to arrive, and it's arrived, it's a mirror. Because you know, it's not like we don't already have enough mirrors in here, but this one, I'm really excited about. So we're gonna open it up, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Here is the new mirror. I mean, I absolutely love it. We have decided though, we think we're gonna mount it to the wall just so it sits up a little bit higher. Also put on the new black SLA sweats just to show you guys. Um, as I said, these are launching in uh, end of Jan on the 26th, so is it? Yeah. 26th. 27th. Friday the 27th, these are launching. Um, but I absolutely love the black with the green. They're just so nice. And of course, as always, made from the super soft SLA sweat fabric. We always love afternoons when the sun shines in the SLA office because this end of the office always looks so like tranquil and calm. But I actually love the pink sofa down this end. Now I've seen it properly because we've cleaned out all the clutter and it just looks so nice down here. So guys, I've come to Hadley Salon for my hair colour to be redone. So I thought while I was getting it done, I'd get George to explain what she does because I get so many questions about my hair colour because she does it so well. And um, it always turns out so amazing. So we thought we'd film it and then you guys will have everything you need to know, including the shades. On Sarah's hair, what we usually do is a shade CQ gloss, but we apply it like a tint. And the shade that I use, on the root, I tend to mix two colors together. It's um, 7NCH and 7N mixed together, just so it's slightly flatter on the root. And then I go 7NCH all the way through the ends. And that uh, NCH is like a chocolate, a natural chocolate, but it has an undertone of ash to it. That yeah. is actually pretty much what Hayley Bieber has on her head. Is it? Yeah. Well, there we go, guys. You found the secret. So um, that's what we're doing today. I'll film the steps as we go, but we thought we'd just tell you that bit so at least you know. Here we go, guys. So these are the ones that are used. Just put it here in case you guys are interested. <laughs> Here is the finished look, fresh and so shiny. Look at that shine. I'm honestly like, it's a dream. Uh, Joe's here now, hey guys. as you probably guessed. My hair's fresh as well. We are gonna go for a date night. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna go to Hoppers? Hoppers. Hoppers. We were gonna go to cricket, but we changed our minds. Sri minute. Lankan cuisine. Is that still like? It's supposed to be very good. I'm basically veggie at the moment, so I wanted something where I can go and have lots of vegetables. There'll be loads, loads of vegetables. Yeah. This food looks incredible. Curries. Also, look at the inside of this. Chili cheese. That was huge as well. Ginormous. <laughs> what is it called again? Uh, I don't know, I can't remember. Oh, and there are chutneys. No, this, this isn't a hopper. The hopper is the pancake thing. It's Sunday afternoon and this vlog is about to go live tonight. Um, so I'm going to finish just this one here. I have just been doing this afternoon a lot of outfit planning for an outfit video that will be going up on my YouTube channel this week. So keep your, keep an eye out for that one. Um, I've also done loads of other bits and bobs. I'm feeling like I'm really, like so far, I mean... We are only almost two weeks into January. But so far, I feel like I'm managing to stay on top of my content. Let's see how long this lasts before life starts to get really, really busy. But so far, I'm feeling really proud of myself. So anyway, that will be coming this week. So as I say, keep an eye out for that one. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I've been up to this week. Um, anything I've spoken about in this vlog, I'll link below. Um, and like my, that mirror I got, I'll link where that was from. Um, all that sort of stuff. And obviously, of course, Hadley Salon, in case you guys are interested. But I hope that was good, sort of seeing the colours that he used. So anyways, I hope you all have had a fabulous week. Um, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.